Shira. I'm here with Jacqueline McLeod, who is the executive director of the European Environmental Agency. Jacqueline, welcome to the Global Observatory. I wanted to ask you about this sign that you have up here that says, yes. bend the trend. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, as you can see from the graph, we're currently on a trend upwards. And uh, we really have to get people behind the idea that it's not just governments that have got to do the work. We've all got to bend the trend. So tonight we're going to actually have a climber show us by bending that line downwards to see what we actually have to do to get from a planet that's going to be potentially in trouble at four, five, six degrees if we don't do anything, and how, we, how hard it's going to be to get down to a safe level where this planet will be at around about two degrees. Now, when you're talking about bending the trend, we're obviously talking about working together to lower carbon emissions. And that's what COP15, the meeting here at Copenhagen, is all about. What are your expectations with respect to this meeting? Today, I think we would have to be more optimistic than we've been in many months. I think many leaders are getting the message that citizens have high expectations. Mm -hmm. But there's something different that we're asking of our political leaders today. It's not about representing their own countries and their own people. It's about actually leaders working together to create a climate deal that's equitable, that's fair for all, and which means it's actually part of all of our lives, not just simply some countries being better at it than others. So what does the business sector make out of this? Is it an opportunity? Is it a cost? Where are they coming across on the equation? Overall, we, we can't afford not to do it. So I think any businessman worth or her sort, his or her sort, is really going to be saying, this is a fantastic opportunity. How can I actually make new partnerships to put my products, my green products, my energy efficiency products, whatever they are, out into perhaps the most opportune time when people are looking for solutions. They're not looking for problems, they're looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a solution, this is absolutely the time to put it out there. So business opportunity, people opportunity, and I think the, one of the greatest opportunities for leaders to show that this is what will go down in history. This is their legacy in Copenhagen. That's what leadership is all about. Jackie, thank you so much for thank being with you. us on the Global Observatory. Thank you so much, Hazirian.